Hey everyone, this is 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matragrano here with your beach and boating report for this Saturday. We're kicking off the weekend with a very nice beach day and a great day all around to get out on the water and enjoy it. Uh, we are looking at, this will be day five of our heat wave and uh, we're looking at temperatures once again back into the 90s. We've seen that all this week, essentially, just we're stuck in the warm temperatures and the hot weather and the humid weather, too. And uh, we're looking at mainly dry conditions in terms of no rain or storms. But we are looking at the heat and humidity certainly being with us for not only today on Saturday, but also for Sunday as well. And uh, you can see uh, our hour by hour forecast. This is five o'clock this morning. And uh, you can see uh, Saturday, 5 a.m., and temperatures, they're going to be in the 70s. So when you start out that warm during the morning hours, it's almost a uh, telltale sign that we're going to be seeing those uh, warm temperatures with us uh, for the uh, afternoon. And this is what Saturday afternoon is going to pan out to be. We're looking at temperatures eventually getting into the uh, upper 80s and low 90s across much of the area. Here's Saturday, 10 o'clock in the morning. Mid 80s at the coast already, even upper 80s, near 90 in Providence. And we're going to watch these temperatures go even higher for our Saturday. So beaches, they're going to be busy all throughout the day. And uh, no matter how you slice it, I would say this is one of those days where you want to head to the beach early on in the morning to claim your spot and also to claim a parking spot too. And uh, make sure you head down there during the morning hours because I have a feeling these will be a very, very uh, busy at the beaches today, uh, especially for the afternoon as that heat really kicks in. And uh, here we are again. This is 1 p.m. Saturday afternoon. And uh, although most of the heat will be confined away from the coast, we're going to certainly feel it down at the shoreline. I mean, look at that upper 80s, right around 90 degrees is where I'm pegging most beaches to be at during the afternoon. You factor in some humidity and uh it's you know not much of an escape from the heat, so definitely go inside the water, even though it's around 75 degrees, not too bad, and uh, definitely use that as a way to cool off for sure. Uh, there is going to be a low rip current risk, so that's some good news at the beaches. I know this past week we've had uh, some moderate rip currents, and there's been unfortunately some uh, tragedies occur at the beaches, so keep that in mind. Either way, I recommend swimming near lifeguards, and obviously don't swim in areas that are unattended. And uh, those are just some tips to keep in mind. And of course, if you do get caught in a rip current, make sure you swim parallel to the shore. Uh, that is the best way to escape that rip current, especially when you're on uh, ocean-facing beaches. And uh, you can see, again, not much to talk about weather-wise besides the heat and humidity. Uh, no rain, no storms at all on Saturday, and also not for Sunday either. So this weekend is looking fantastic to head to the beach, head out on the water, Whatever you want to do, if you want to get, you know, some dinner out by the water on the side, you know, out on, the, on the harbor, looks fine to me. Uh, wind forecast, they're going to be south-southwest for much of Saturday. Uh, generally light, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. They'll pick up a little bit for Saturday afternoon, maybe, you know, 10, 15, 20 miles per hour. That typically happens during the summertime as those breezes tend to pick up with the daytime heating and you see some more breezy conditions uh, form for the afternoon, especially with the sea breeze front. Uh, I think there could be a, a slight sea breeze along the shoreline, but I don't anticipate much of a sea breeze uh, to cool things down so it won't certainly be as prominent as some other days so keep that in mind uh, either way you know looking very nice through Saturday and I mentioned those gusts picking up during the afternoon hours uh, that's pretty typical for this time of year and uh, you can see uh, that continues into Saturday night as well so again the winds not too bad uh, it'll certainly feel nice to have a little bit of a breeze in the air considering the heat and humidity with us now bay forecast winds south southwest five to ten knots increasing a little bit for the afternoon like we've talked about waves one to two feet in the bay visibility mostly sunny skies uh, really no major weather concerns out on the water uh, high tide coming in after five in the evening and your low tide coming in later on at night uh, after 11 o'clock. So, uh, again, things are quiet on the water. Great great weekend for that and a great weekend for the beach. You can see I have sunny and hot for both the days because, to me, when you get the beaches in the upper 80s to near 90, that's, that's to me, is hot <laughs> for the beaches, at least, along the shoreline. And uh, there's a low rip current risk as well. UV index will be high. You know, safe sun index, about 20 minutes. Uh, so wear the sunscreen, definitely find some shade, stay hydrated. And uh, if you do go swimming, even though there's a low rip current risk, you're definitely going to want to swim, you know, where there's lifeguards or at least where you're familiar with swimming. And, uh, you know, keep, keep that in mind and play it safe when you're out in the water. 
And uh, is in terms of any you know closings or anything like that, we have that on our website in the Ocean Beach Bay section. So uh, you should definitely check that out. We update that every single day. And uh, overall, looking at nice conditions this weekend, definitely get outside and enjoy it. Really can't paint a better picture for a beach and uh, boating forecast. And um, I want to make sure you guys download our Pinpoint Weather 12 app to your smartphone or tablet. It's a great tool, a great resource to have. You know, for when there's weather happening, uh, we certainly post updates there. And also subscribe to our newsletter for this beach and boating report. We send these out daily around 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. Goes right to your email. You can actually get it right on your phone, too, in your email. And uh, it has all the day's beach and boating forecasts, current conditions, all the information that you need to know before you head to the beach and before you plan your day. So definitely do that. Subscribe to it. And uh, certainly use it during the summertime because it's a great tool to have. And uh, we again post it daily. So that's all I have. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the beach. Enjoy the water. And uh, stay safe out there. Take care.